Today we're going to read a book called Germs vs. Soap. That's the title of the book. This book was written by Dee Dee Dragon. That's the author she wrote the words. And it was illustrated by Hannah Robinette. Germs vs. Soap. Have you heard of a germ before? Germs get you sick. They're very small. You can't see them. Up front it says when to wash your hands if they're dirty, before eating or touching food, after going to the bathroom, after playing with pets, after sneezing, coughing, blowing your nose, or being around someone who's sick. We should wash our hands lots of times throughout the day, and we should always use soap when we wash. Once upon a time, and maybe even right this moment, there were germs on hands. Of course, germs are so tiny that you can't see them with your eyes, but that doesn't mean that they're too tiny to dream of energy cupcakes all day. There is, however, one thing that crushes a germ sweet cupcake dream, soap. Germs absolutely, positively do not like soap. At germ school, germs learn how to be germy. The germ teacher would ask questions like, why are hands the very best place for germs to be? And the little germ raises her hand and she says, because if the kid picks their nose, they use their germy hands and that's how we get in so that we can get them sick and get energy cupcakes. That's right. Eyes, noses, and mouths are like open doors for germs. And once they get in, it's time for them to have energy cupcakes. Energy cupcakes, say the germs. And you're probably thinking, what are energy cupcakes? Well, they are not real cupcakes. You see, germs survive in our bodies by gobbling up all of our energy. And when hungry germs see energy, it looks like cupcakes to them, energy cupcakes. That's why when you're sick, you don't feel good. So this page told me a very important piece of information. It said that germs like to get in through our eyes through our noses and through our mouths. That's why wearing a mask over your nose and your mouth is very important. Do not put your mask over your eyes. But you should have a mask over your nose and your mouth and the loops should go around your ears. We wear them the right way so that we can protect ourselves and other people from germs. And then of course they hate soap. So we use our our soap to wash our hands. Once the germs finally settle down, they reflect on the importance of being on hands. Luckily for us, we're on hands. Unlike all of the poor germs that are over there, how'd he get so far away? This kid sneezed into their elbow. You might not be able to see the germs that are on her because really we can't. But the illustrator helped us a little bit. Look. They gave us a green dot to show where the germs were. The green dot on her elbow is because she did the right thing. She sneezed into her elbow. She didn't sneeze on her hands. Germs love to be on hands and that's why we wash our hands. All germs know that eating lots of energy cupcakes make them toot a lot. It could be a silent one or a medium one or even a loud trumpet toot. Germs don't care, they just have to be stinky because stinky toots get kids sick. A sick kid will start sneezing and coughing so that germs just fly out of there onto someone new. And you know what that means? The germs are happy because they get more energy cupcakes. We always wear a mask over our mouth and nose, and that way if you are coughing, your germs don't go everywhere. And 
unless germs find themselves right in front of the sink. Probably because an adult told the kid to go wash their hands. Because washing your hands is a great way to get rid of the germs. The germ says, great, now the kid's on a step stool. The step stool? Oh no, I feel faint. Oh, snap out of it. So I see soap and I see the sink and she's going to wash her hands. Luckily for the germs, there's no more soap in the bathroom. Maybe the kid will just wash their hands with water. Water, ha 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 ha. They laugh at water. Water will not wash the germs off. It says, ooh, look at me. I'm so scared of water. They're not scared of water, are they? No, because water will not wash the germs away. You need soap. If you go in the bathroom to wash your hands and there's no soap, you need to tell your mother or your father, or if you're at school, you need to tell your teacher because we have to use soap when we wash our hands. It's quite a celebration for the germs, you know, if there's no more soap in the bathroom. In fact, it's officially called a no soap party. Happy no soap party day. See, they're happy when there's not any soap. So you need to make sure that you report that so that we can get soap in the bathroom for you because washing your hands with soap is very important. All parties must come to an end when an, an adult is sniffing around for the soap smell. Uh-oh, it's the adult's nose right above us, code 931. Oh my, what's that mean again? Oh, it's a sniff test, Arnold. It means that we're gonna get washed. But the germs don't give up that easily. They remind themselves that they've been here for bazillions and bazillions of years. They've outlived the dinosaurs. They're germs. And the only thing that can stop them on our hands is soap. So, you might need a step tool. You definitely should roll up your sleeves if you have long sleeves. You get soap on your hands and washing your hands is a serious thing. You wanna make sure that you're not goofing around. You wanna make sure that you wash them really, really well. It's a checklist. And you know something that makes washing your hands even better at getting rid of germs? Asking your mom and dad to make sure that your fingernails are short. Sometimes your fingernails have grown lots and lots and your mommy and daddy don't even know. It's up to you to tell them if they're getting long so that they can get clipped. My fingernails too long, I can see the white piece on the end of my fingernail. It's too long. Germs could hide underneath of my fingernail when I wash my hands. So I should clip my nails nice and short. And I should ask my mom and dad to do that every two weeks or so and make sure that my fingernails stay nice and short so that germs don't hide underneath of my fingernails. See? Which one would the germs be able to hide under? You're right, this one. I should cut that one too. I'm gonna to do that when I finish reading this book. I don't want germs to hide under my fingernails when I'm washing my hands with soap. Germs know how to rush to the safe zones. Well, most of them. He says, get in between the fingers and under the nails and on the backs of the hands. So. You want to make sure that you wash under your fingernails and in between the fingers and make sure that you wash the back of your hand too. Use soap all over. You want to make sure that you wash with soap. Arnold, get away from the middle of the palm. You're going to get... Ew, this soap is so cold and slimy. Whoa, it's way too slippery here. I can't even hang on anymore. And then when the water comes, He's going to slide right off because he's covered in soap. Germs hate soap. The germs prepare to get scrubbed for at least 20 seconds. So your first step is to rub your hands palm to palm. So these are your palms You put them together. The soap's in here and you don't do this under the water. Okay, you get 
all the soap in there and you start rubbing your hands back and forth like this. Then you want to make sure that you do the back of your hand and the back of this hand. Then you want to make sure you get in between your fingers. So you put your fingers in between each other and then you want to make sure that you get the backs of your fingers. And then you don't want to forget about your thumbs, so you have to wash your thumbs too. And under your nails. So I need to cut this one too. It's awfully long. And this one. Because germs could hide under those fingernails, so I need to cut them off. So then you make lots of bubbles with that soap on your hands when you do it the right way. And in all that commotion, the germs will get distracted by the bubbles. They'll say, look at these bubbles. It's a bubble blizzard. Bubbles are pretty. Bubbles are everywhere. Bubbles are so shiny. And then none of them prepare for this moment. Guys, watch out. Here comes the water. And it proves to be a little fun for some of those germs. Hey, look, he's on a bubble. What's up, dudes and dudettes? Don't mind me. I'm just surfing down the line. Oh. Is that a shark? Oh no! What's going to happen to him? The germs went down the drain in the sink. And so the germs go down the drain. The end. That's not the end. There will be more germs, you know. And there will be, which is why we're going to wash our hands lots. And we'll always use soap, because germs hate soap. And we'll make sure there's more soap. So if we run out of soap, you need to report it so mommy and daddy can get more soap for your bathroom at home or so that your teacher can get more soap for your bathroom at school. Thank you for reading about germs versus soap with me. Don't forget to wash your hands and you should wash them for long enough to sing your ABCs real slow two whole times or the entire baby shark song. That's how long it should take to wash your hands the right way. Bye.